Disclaimer. This is a work of fiction. Names, characters, businesses, places, events, and incidents are either the products of the author's imagination or used in a fictitious manner. Any resemblance to actual persons, living or dead, or actual events is purely coincidental. Warning. This game contains the following content. Torture, mentions of rape, mentions of pedophilia, mentions of trafficking, grotesque murder, mental break, suicide, mentions of drug or alcohol abuse. You have been warned. You have been warned right now. Okay, so if you don't want if you don't want to see any of these things on the list for this game, do not continue watching. What's up guys, the name's Ronan Jagniel, and welcome back to Remember Remember. So, last where we left off, we knew, we learned more about Xavier. Yay, hooray. But we gained back a little bit of memories with Rosa, which is cool. But sadly, Mask had to interrupt our moment with Xavier, and we have to play another game. So, oh yes, I think someone told me the only routes that are available are Peter and Rosa for Romantically. Hey, yo, gay ships. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, I'm going to aim for Rosa if that's the case. I have no idea about Xavier or Lisa, but some people told me Lisa likes Xavier. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of back off Xavier and go for Rosa instead. If there's another choice I have to select. So, okay, we're going to just play along his game now. And the freak shows up. Great. I mean, same. Another game. I guess we'll just have to keep going. I can tell Xavier will be strong through this, but I can't help but wonder. What else has he hidden from me? Let's just get this over with. Don't act like you're getting used to this. That's creepy. Well, just played like three games? Three games already? Yeah, three games. The faster we get this done though, the better. So Xavier's right to think that way. True. Still. We shouldn't make it out like this is a familiar feeling. All of you are so obedient today. I wonder what changed. Because you're an asshole? Don't fool yourself. We just want to leave. Does Chris know the truth? Well, no, but... Then you can't leave. Now oh, fuck you. We don't remember everything yet. As soon as we do, Chris will know the truth. And until then, you all will keep going through this game over and over. Has this game done nothing to help? All it's done is put us in danger. We can't remember anything under such stress. Is that so? What is this guy implying? Well, we'll see after I reveal this next part of the story. It's sure to pique some interest. Sure. Hurry it up! So testy today, Xavier. Have I touched a nerve? You're pissing me off, that's for sure. I'm like Xavier right now. <laughs> of course, of course. The brave and mighty Xavier standing up to the cruel and evil bird that is his captor. So noble. And yet, so laughable. Just hurry up. Xavier, calm down. There's no use getting riled up so quickly. We have to go through this or we may get electrocuted. It's okay, Chris. You can do it! Yay, Sarah believes in me. Huh? Sarah? Huh? Chris, what's the matter? Hmm? Shit, I don't want to let them know that I keep hearing Sarah or that I'll still freak out. Sorry, I'm just tired. It's nothing. Alright. <laughs> the mask knows, though. Is the kidnapper going to rat me out? I'm very sure at least he heard me. Well then, the story. Thank God. Finally, the butterfly met the bird, who sang a sweet little song, and asked the butterfly to fly away with them. The butterfly agreed and began to follow. 
In the bushes, a cowardly spider quietly watched as the butterfly was led away to a dark patch of woods. Well, that's just great. Someone didn't bother saving Sarah. Because they're a coward. Okay. So we have a ladybug, a bee, and a spider. But the bee was the enemy in the last game. So what does that mean? Are any of them truly the insects of the story, or is the story a fake? Interesting. What? What's so interesting now? No one seems to be getting affected. What? What are you talking? Hey! You can't just do that! I can, and I did. So let the game begin. Oh, fuck you. Whoa, now he's rushing us? What is the matter with this guy? Did we finally make him snap or something? <laughs> I'm glad. I would hope so, but then he'd hurt us. I guess I better hurry up with this game. Just gotta breathe and do it. Breathe! <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, what the hell? Ah! No! What the fuck? Are you serious now? I'm, I'm, I'm getting pissed at this game. Ah! Uh, what the fuck? I didn't get caught. Oh my god, you, you're serious right now. Ah, uh, how am I supposed to beat this now? Great. Oh, I'm not supposed to touch. I didn't even save anybody. Ugh. Okay. I think I know what to do. But I figured it out too late. Jesus Christ, the water stopped. Thanks. Yeah, I don't think I'll make it. Well, that was the wrong way. Oh, uh, fuck. I may have to do this over, guys. Sorry. Ah, uh, water stopped. Thanks, Chris. All right, I think I know what to do now, but this may take a while. Oh, fuck. Everything got confused. Oh, fuck, no. I can't touch those things. Um. No, I can't go that way. Oh, what the fuck? How am I supposed to get? Well, yeah, that, that's, that's fan fucking tastic. Nope, can't go that way. Can't go that way! Can't go- <laughs> Well, maybe it can Okay, well, now it's free. Ah, oh, water stopped. Thanks, Chris. You're welcome, Peter. Well, I'm not gonna save anybody at this rate. <laughs> No, 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 and I got caught. Ah, <sighs> you gotta be freaking kidding me right now. Ah. Uh. Jesus Christ, the water stopped. Thanks. Ah, water stopped. Thanks, Chris. I'm 
don't get caught either way. Last one, last one, I can do this, I can do this. Ah. Uh, last one, fuck! Well, now I'm... I'm not gonna fuck! <laughs> I was gonna make it! None of those things ruined it! I was so close. Jesus Christ, the water stopped. Thanks. Water stopped. Thanks, Chris. Jesus Christ, the water stopped. Thanks. So many times, I can't. Fuck. I'm literally running out of time here.
Ah, the water stopped. Thanks, Chris. Jesus Christ, the water stopped. I don't want to do that. Thanks. Finally. Finally. Thank you. I went through this bullshit so many times. Conquer true fear. Oh. Another game was beaten. Oh Jesus fucking Christ. That 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 was that was way harder than the second game I played, okay? That that was ridiculous. Thank God. <laughs> well done. Well done. Fuck you. Wait, what's with this tone? <laughs> Take that, you piece of shit. Chris will beat every single game you throw at us. Mm. I've noticed. He seems quite pissed. <laughs> Is he angry? What's the matter? I thought you enjoyed seeing us like this. You misunderstand my amusement, then. Oh? Who cares? The game's over! This game, yes. I had much more planned for you all. But it seems that these games are having little effect on your memories and are merely delaying the final product I was looking for. Wait. What? What's he talking about? Wait. This entire time. You were trying to get us to remember the past with torture? This is why I despise youth. Ignorant and small-minded. Unable to comprehend their surroundings and situation unless guided. How in the hell was torture supposed to get us to remember anything? The story. What? The story? You mean that creepy tale he kept telling us? Subjecting the human mind to vast amounts of stress is both a hindrance and an improvement in explicit memory. Using emotionally linked words during a moment of anxious duress can cause memories to be recalled. Seriously? Stress hormones can literally enhance the brain's ability to remember certain events if key emotional phrases are used. So... That story you've been telling us... ...was meant to force memories out. I thought the wording of it would click through. However, it seems to have been for naught. That is what I get for trying a new method of assessment. So you put us through this game for nothing?! Not so, Lisa. As all experiments have potential, this one just ended in failure. That does not mean that I cannot get what I desire. How do you plan to do that? Indeed. How? How many times will this world become more psychotic? How are we supposed to get out of here at this rate if this guy is literally experimenting? One final game. What? A final game? Huh? That means... Yes, the next game will be your last. However, I will reveal the truth before it plays out. Okay? What? Why not now? So the guilty ones can beg for forgiveness before they are found out. Just because this experiment seems to have ended in failure does not mean that each of you does not remember the past. After all, the guilty ones hid the truth for a long, long time. Who's to say that they aren't lying now? Ugh. This is even more fucked up than before. I have to play one final game to set everyone free? And am I going to- and I'm going to learn the truth? I can't help but feel excited. What is wrong with me? So I'll learn everything tomorrow. Indeed. You'll learn who are the guilty ones. Just as Sarah intended. Did she truly want this? You can't even answer that? Well then, 
Are we done here? Shall I tell you how many? Huh? How many what? How many? How many of them are guilty? How many of your friends are innocent? You're really gonna tell us? Chris? Chris, you don't have to answer him. Why not? Huh? Peter? Why shouldn't Chris learn how many of us are innocent? It'd be better to know what's at stake than to assume all of us are innocent. That seems a little backward. Why would- If Chris knew how many of us were innocent, then the ones who weren't would start getting paranoid the closer to the game we got. Leading the guilty ones to reveal themselves. <laughs> well, Chris, all you need to do is ask me. How many of my friends are innocent? Should I? Do I? Would I? This could wedge a large wall between my friends and me, but that also allows me to know who are the ones to watch out for. Fuck! Oh, save! Uh, I'm gonna ask. I'll do it anyway. How many? How many of my friends are innocent? I need to know. I have to know. One. What? What I- One?! What are you talking about? Hold the fuck on! You're lying! There's no way- Guys, stop it! Uh-huh. Peter? You heard the guy. Only one of us is an innocent person. There's no reason for him to lie now. <laughs> <laughs> Such confidence, Peter. Of course, you are correct. There's no reason for me to lie at this point. Not with a final game around the corner. Well, that we're all fucked. How do we know that you're not lying? I would be breaking a promise if I did. A promise? What promise? More secrets. Great. What exactly does this guy know? Well, I guess I'll just leave it at that. Have a good rest, insects. The next game is a very important one. You have got to be fucking kidding me. And he's gone. Well. <sighs> all right. Let's all make a pact. Huh? Where is this coming from? I'm sick and tired of that fuckface trying to screw with us. We need to come together and stand our ground against that guy if we're going to survive. But... What do we do with the guilty people? And Chris will decide what to do then. However, we can't just let this guy divide us before the final game. Xavier's right. We have to remain calm and just get through one more game. It's the only way to survive right now. As terrible as that is to say. So, we have to be willing to lie to Chris again just to survive? Get your head out of your ass! Did you listen to anything I just said? No! You get your head out of your ass, Xavier. Just because we want to survive doesn't mean that we should make some stupid pact and lie to Chris just to keep breathing. Oh. I'm trying to keep us from letting that asshole who kidnapped us get into our heads. No. You're trying to ensure that Chris will keep you alive. Oh, dear. Peter, calm down. Xavier, hold on! What's wrong with living? Is surviving that difficult of a fucking concept to understand for a shithead like you? Oh god, oh no. Stop pretending like you're better than me. I may not remember everything about the past because of that stupid drug we all got, but I remember damn well that you can't say shit about living when half of your life was a huge fuck up. Peter, please, don't do that! What the fuck do you know about living? And what the fuck do you know about me? You know jack shit, and that is all you've ever known! Oh no, please! At least I'm clean and never had to go to rehab, you fucking asshole! Peter, no! What? <coughs> Don't! Peter! <coughs> Don't fu- I will beat the shit out of you! You guys- Guys! Not- Um- Stop them! I gotta stop them. This is psychotic. Xavier! Peter! Stop it! What? Finish what you started, prick! Holy fuck. Xavier's completely gone. Chris, get back! You fuck! You think you're better than me now? Huh? Fuck you! This is insane. Why isn't the kidnapper stopping them? He can see us, right? Why is he letting this happen? I'm the only one who isn't falling for your heroic bullshit! 
You're not the leader of this group, so stop trying to be it! Well, at least I have a pair of balls to actually stand up for us, Pete! What do you have to say about that, you fucking coward? I am not a coward! Peter, enough! Please. I'm not a coward! I'm not! I'm... Peter's shaking like crazy. At least he stopped hitting Xavier. Xavier! Peter? I... Well... Are you telling me how to... Ch uh, at least it will take care of Xavier. I'm gonna check on Peter. Peter? What did I do? Holy shit. Peter knocked Xavier out cold. Peter, let me see your hands. No! I... I have to go. What? Peter! He just ran into his room. Rosa, Chris, help me get Xavier into his room. Right. That was scary. What the hell was Peter thinking? Well, what was up with Xavier? Excuse me? Peter was slightly right, you know. We have one more game. Just because we make a pack now doesn't mean it'll stick if... So you want people to die? No, that's not what I was insinuating. Sorry. I guess this whole thing is crazy. Yeah. Xavier's pack idea, though, seems both selfish but safe at the same time. If we can come together, then we can stay strong when the final game happens. But... If only one person is innocent, then would I see any reason to make such a pact? I don't know if I could bring myself to that. Here, I'll take care of Xavier. You two should go check on Peter. Gl gladly. Okay. Chris? What do you plan to do? Huh? About the game. It's tomorrow. Hmm. What? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I skipped Chris? the line. Oops. <laughs> yeah, Rosa? Whatever happens, I trust you. We all do, in the end. Do I deserve that trust? That's a whole other issue. Peter? Can we come in? Huh? It won't open. Go away! Peter! Just leave me alone, okay? Holy shit. Peter. I don't think we'll be getting in. Peter. I'm going to bed. Huh? Okay. Have a good night, I guess. Yeah. That was a complete mess. Why did Peter and Xavier snap and fight like that? Why did the kidnapper let that happen? Now Xavier's knocked out cold and Peter's locked in his room. Is everything going to be okay, Chris? I don't know, Sarah. I really don't know. Nah. I don't think so, Sarah. Great. I'm Oh. I'm sorry. I'm even talking back. He was about to say I'm talking back to my hallucinations. God damn. <laughs> I'm still kind of shaking up about that though. For what? I'm sorry for leaving. Hey, it's not your fault. Please, Sarah, stop. <laughs> Sarah, it's not your fault. You were 8. I didn't know that you'd leave the house. I didn't know how big my responsibilities were. I didn't know that you'd one day disappear. See, this is every older sibling's fear. Like, when you have to take care of your younger sibling, they you never know when they could run out and leave. Especially with mine. Though he hasn't been running away since he was since like years ago, he stopped running away, but it's like you always get that feeling like you're scared when you have to take care of that sibling. You're scared that they're, they one day will just get up and run away or something and you won't even know. I'm still terrified. <laughs> just if that hap if ever happens again one day with my little brother. Some dark, vile part of me wants to blame you for everything. But I know that it wasn't your fault. No one wanted to be outside more than you. Mommy, can I go play outside? No, Sarah. You know you can't play outside. But why not? Because I said so, okay? I didn't know then, but Sarah had some sort of mental disorder that prevented her from learning as quickly as other kids. It caused a lot of problems, so she was stuck with being homeschooled. Oh my gosh, poor Sarah. 
Well, my brother has autism, so he can't really go out anywhere by himself either. <laughs> it's kind of hard, you know, when you just he could just one day get up and run away and he won't know where he's going. It scares me sometimes. Because of that, she was practically under house arrest. Our mom didn't understand how to handle a child with a disability, so she treated Sarah with safety gloves. I tried my best to teach her about everything I knew, how to do math and how to draw. She always loved to draw butterflies. I even tried to teach her how to differentiate between good people and bad people in hopes that one day she would be allowed to go out and see the world. But the more time went on, the more the idea of her ever even going outside seemed impossible. So, I decided to take a new responsibility. What if I watched over her? Huh? She really wants to go outside. I can watch over her. Chris. Please, Mom. I promised to make sure she stays behind the fence. Okay, Chris. After that, she finally got to be outside. Our mom worked two jobs, but she always arranged her schedule to be home and let Sarah out by the time I got out of school. Then we'd play together until the sun went down. I'd always have to do my homework while I ate dinner. The teacher sometimes complained about food stains. <laughs> Still, it was worth Sarah being happy. You loved going outside. You couldn't have known. You would have never known that. Someone would take you away. Forever. All because I couldn't protect you. Sarah. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everything about this is my fault. Sarah disappearing, getting kidnapped, my friends getting tortured, everything. Not even my hallucinations will respond and fight me on that. Am I a terrible person? Am I the one who deserves to be drowning in a tube? I feel like it. <laughs> Waking up. I feel blank. I should be happy. I'm about to learn the truth. But something keeps me from being relieved at the idea of the final game. We get to leave. Well, I get to leave. The others, however, are waiting for some sort of judgment. That was the kidnapper's plan, after all, making me judge my friends for what some did to Sarah. I will always circle back to the same question over and over like it's a broken record on repeat. Will I have the courage to judge them? I'm suddenly beyond scared. What will I learn? How did Sarah get taken? Who took her? There's so many questions running through my head, yet I can't bring myself to feel anything but fear. What has become of me? Huh? Chris? Hey. 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 Xavier looks like he got hit by a truck. But where is bruises? Hey, are you? I'm fine. He didn't hit me hard enough to make bruises. He knocked you out, though. Rosa, one more word. Sorry. Guess he's just a fast healer. Lisa did take care of him and went to... And we have plenty of ice. Me Here, food. It'll be our last meal here, thank God. Well, thanks for hitting the answer button I couldn't get to finish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for some reason, I didn't feel hungry. But if I don't eat, they'll know something's up. Where's Peter? He hasn't come out of his room. He locked himself in there. I guess he found a way to lock the sensors so we can't force the door open. Well, it's kind of easy. There's a button on the pad that- And now you tell me? You didn't ask. Still, I'm worried. Leave him be. He's an adult. He'll eat when he's hungry or he'll just skip the meal. Not like he'll be able to stay in there for the game. So he has to come out eventually. Yeah. I'm gonna go to my room. Chris, at least eat a little. Huh? Shit, she noticed that I wasn't eating. What? Is it bad? No, it's not that. I'm just not hungry. Ugh. <sighs> Excuse me. I need to calm down, but I can't look at anyone right now without thinking about the final game. What if they're the innocent one? What if they're guilty? All of these thoughts are making me batty. 
At least the hallucination of Sarah isn't here to see me like this. I need to talk to someone. Guilty or not, I need to not be alone right now. Oh, dang. Rosa, P Peter, we should leave him alone. Um, we're gonna talk to Rosa. Rosa knew something was up with me. Maybe I can confide in her a little today. Hey, it's Chris. Can I come in? Huh? Sure. I don't know why, but I feel a little secure with Rosa. Maybe because she's not as brash as like the others. Still, she seems to be the most terrified person here. Out of all of us. Not that I blame her. What's wrong? Huh? She saw it through me that quickly? Chris, I may have lost my memories, but I can't help but know when you're not okay. I mean, the situation we're in isn't the best, but... She is ridiculously empathetic. Well... However, I don't know if I should tell her anything. I truly don't know if she is the innocent one or not. Hell, she could be the worst of them all and I wouldn't know. Still, how to respond? Mm, I'll trust her. I, I can trust Rose. She seems to know things. I think I can trust her, really. So, I feel that, deep down, she's innocent. I cannot see her doing anything bad to anyone, especially Sarah or her friends. Maybe it's because of her behavior. I don't know. I think that I can trust her. Well, I've been thinking about Sarah. I see. I keep hearing her voice and getting flashbacks and... Well, I blame myself for all of this. Chris! I do, Rosa. I blame myself completely. If I had kept an eye on her like I promised our mom, then, then she... God damn it, I could have saved her. None of this would have happened. And here I am, spilling my guts to Rosa. I must look absolutely pathetic. Uh. Huh? Is she hugging me? You did nothing wrong. Don't think that. Oh, Rosa. I know that Sarah would never blame you. None of us do. No one should dare. Rosa. Rosa's always been there for me. Even at my worst, she has always been there to be my shoulder to cry on. Hey, I'm cutting you off. You're a student, for Christ's sakes. Go home. I remember going to the bar whenever I was depressed. I drowned myself in alcohol just to forget my worries. They ranged from thoughts of stress and work to me meager suggestions of suicide. Either way, I made myself known to the campus, campus town bar. Yet Rosa would always be able to find me. There you are. Drinking again? I needed it, all right? I always expected a judgmental look from any one of my friends. I was spending money on booze and wasting time instead of managing myself properly. But Rosa never treated me like that or looked down on me. Tell me. She'd always hike up on a seat beside me and let me rant on and on about anything floating in my mind. It was like she was a psychiatrist that I never had to pay back. She never asked anyone- She never asked for anything from me, but she would always help. It's not like you give a damn about the grade, it's just- It's fucking rough when the case file reminds you of- Well- Chris- One particular school project was about children going missing. Everything came crashing down on me at once, and I suddenly found myself missing Sarah even more than I did before. She was the reason I went into criminal justice after all. You good? We're good. I'll cover his tab. Thank you. Don't you start! Chris, come on. You're too drunk to walk home alone. Let me drive you back. No matter how much my drunken stupor made me fight her, she'd always wind up taking care of me. Thanks. <laughs> Anytime. You can always rely on me, okay? Need water? Please. When we were alone, she would open up and even be stubborn at times with me as much as I was with her. But when we were around the others, she would always take a step back. I would never realize why. Ow. Huh? Sorry. Did I hurt you? No. Just a headache. Oh, let me get you- It's alright. I don't need any water. Thank you, though. 
H huh? For taking care of me, you know. For always being there for me. Aw. I... Oh. The final game is about to begin. Everyone, please make your way to the main room. Well, let's just get this game over with. I would stop, but right now I need to finish this game. Okay? We're nearing the end. I think. I hope. I sincerely hope. Anyway, I'm just gonna continue on. N now? Shit. Is it really time? I can't believe this. Still, I was able to spend a good moment of time with Rosa. I think that's enough for me. I have to get through this. Let me get through this. And let the world forgive me for whatever happens. Everyone looks so nervous. Hell, I'm nervous. Too many questions. Will we get to leave? Will the truth be too much? I'm scared shitless. Well then, as disappointing as this experiment was, there was always meant to be an end. Believe it or not, Chris, but your sister's wish was for you to learn the truth. Was? She's dead, I assume. My dear Chris, we would not be in this situation if that weren't the case. Oh, Sarah. I knew she was gone, but to hear it confirmed is tearing me apart. Sarah, I'm so sorry. Truly, she was a magnificent girl. Bright, but tainted. My only regret is not saving her sooner. Mm. You rescued her? Believe it or not, I did. She lived here with me after I bought her. What? Her? What? She was... sold? Before I continue, I'd like to open one final chance for the four victims on the platform. One chance? Would anyone like to confess their sins before their judge? Speak now, or forever hold your peace. Oh god... Will any of them speak? Will any of them tell me the truth? Please, tell me. I need to know. Nobody? No one? No one? <sighs> no, no, I don't think so. Chris, just do the right thing. Help us! You've had your time to speak. Well, the tubes, they're soundproof. Yes, I'm using a new glass compound for this last game. One I prepared ahead of time that deflects sound. This way, you won't have to listen to them scream and beg for help as you give them their final judgment. Oh, fuck. This is too cruel. This is beyond any form of torture. So what happens now? Now, I reveal the truth. How does he plan on... Huh? The game disappeared. <gasps> the screen reads, uh, March 14, 2012, 9.45 p.m. The night Sarah was taken. A dimly lit suburban street focused solely on three houses laid next to each other. A girl, a little girl appears, staring bright-eyed at the dark world, at the dark world around her as she walks down the sidewalk. Her mouth is slung open in awe, while her feet guide her forward to an unknown destination. As she disappears from the camera view, another being steps into it. An older, much more menacing dark figure with a baseball cap, retracing every step the little girl ahead of the maid. Sarah's kidnapper. The screen changes another lone suburban street, March 14, 2012, 9.50 p.m. Wait. There's a girl rushing down the street on the phone. Lisa? The little girl appears and sees Lisa frantically speak into a phone. Lisa turns and sees the little girl hide behind a car in fright. They speak to each other, but the video has no sound. Unfortunately, expected from a simple security camera. The little girl comes out, but Lisa listens once again to her phone. After a moment, Lisa runs off. Leaving the little girl behind. Lisa, really? The screen changes again. March 14, 10 4 p.m. on a dark alley that is barely lit. A boy pacing, paces around, rubbing his arms and looking around frantically. That face. 
Xavier! Other man steps into view and the two chat, but then the little girl appears at the entrance, peeking in. Xavier starts to yell at her and the other man before chuck chucking a can towards the entrance. Little girl runs out of view and Xavier Xavier pursues for a little bit before returning to where his partner in crime was. The screen changes to a public parking lot, uh, 1020. A little girl follows the man in the baseball cap, eyes full of ignorant wonder as she enters his car. A man steps out of another car and simply stares. Peter? The man gets in his car and drives off. Does his car even have a license plate? I couldn't even see them. And Peter just stood there. Lisa, Xavier, and Peter. All three of them saw my sister, and none of them stepped up to help her. I'm completely stunned in shock of what I saw. What the hell was I supposed to feel except for that? So, how does it feel to be betrayed by those you trusted? I... I... I can't even find the words to say. I saw her. I saw Sarah. Yet I saw my friends. People I grew to care for. Leaving her to be taken. I'm torn. And yet hysterical. My entire body won't make a decision. If only I could read your brain patterns. This kind of trauma is rare to come by. Shut up. Shut up! What am I supposed to do? Oh well. I guess I'll have to make do with the end game. And how are you gonna screw with me this time? I'm insulted. I am handing you the gavel, and you claim that I am a villain when the guilty ones stand in front of you. You kind of bought my sister. <laughs> I am. I'm calling you the villain no matter what. But what about Rosa? She has done nothing. Why bring Rosa and put her through this if she's innocent? She's the unfortunate casualty. I couldn't let her run off and foil my plans. So I had to bring her along since she clung so close to you four. Besides, why not add a little challenge? Oh god. How is bringing her here a challenge? I guess that will depend on how you judge the guilty. Staring at them, they're all frightened. Can they even hear what is going on in the tubes? What are they thinking? What exactly am I thinking? Well, the screen changed again. It's the maze game. Well, why is there a big guilty sign on it? I'm sure you'll notice the gigantic button in the corner of your little maze. That is how you will judge each person. Or judge them all together. What? That's right. You still have a time limit. But you'll be able to judge each individual in their own separate chambers. That way, you don't feel pressured to save them all. Well, that's great. So the halo is the innocent verdict? Makes sense. I can save people who I want to save with the halo, judging them as innocent. But then, then when I'm done distributing halos, I can hit the guilty button and kill the rest. Am I even strong enough to do that? Should I just press the button and let everyone drown at the beginning? No, I can't think like that. I have to save them, but do I want to save them all? Do I want to save any of them? Rose is the only innocent one, but would she ever look at me the same if I killed the others? How could I show my face to any of them if I chose who lived and who died? But how could I live with myself if I let the ones who didn't protect Sarah go? I can't think. Are you ready? I'm not! How can anyone be ready for this? How am I supposed to decide? I can't. I can't! My head is spinning. I feel sick. I'm gonna... Chris? Fuck. I'm even hearing her again. So... This is a recording for Chris? Wait. She's not... An illusion? S Sarah? I... <coughs> I... I don't know what to say. Say anything you'd like. This will get to Chris no matter what. Chris? Holy fuck, I'm breaking. Sarah, she sounds so real yet... She's... I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. 
I didn't mean to leave the house that night, but I did. And... Oh God, please don't say any more. Don't blame yourself. Blame me. Well... I... I got a sickness. I got... Uh... Sarah? Maybe it would be best to leave that part out. Okay. Um... Well... <coughs> <coughs> Stop it. I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear her say anymore. I just wish that you knew the truth. Please don't blame yourself and keep living. No matter what, you're my knight. I know you'll make the best choices for anything. Sarah! I am the one to blame. I let her get out of my sight one night and... But, she could have been saved. That's right, she could have been rescued by the people I called friends. And now, I have to make a choice. Whether I wanted to or not, will I forgive them or will I sentence them as guilty? Sarah, please forgive me. She was wise for a 12 year old. Do not disrespect her words by faltering before judgment. I... I think I know what to do. Everyone, I'm sorry. Please, let me make the right choice. Start the game. That's a lot of time, I think. Okay, so who's guilty and who's... Okay, I'm gonna save Rosa. Let me see. Where's Rosa? Oh, wait. Guilt. I don't know. Peter? No? Oh, wait. Do I have to press something? Or I don't know what to do. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Oh shit, what did I do? <laughs> I just killed all of them. <laughs> I am truly and utterly speechless. You really abandoned them all. I didn't mean to do that. Hold on, I'm gonna go on it back. Rosa, you were the only innocent one. But there were no there was no way that you would lo look at me the same if I let you live after killing the others. My one and only true friend. I'm sorry. Lisa, I don't care what excuse you had. You had the chance to take my sister with you and save her. But you didn't, did you? Apologize to her in death. Xavier. You cruel and selfish bastard. You saw my sister and instead of reaching out, you attacked her and made her run off. There's no power in the world that will let me forgive you. You deserve this. Peter, you abandoned my sister when she needed someone the most. You could have been the one to save her and prevented all of this. To think I had called you a friend, I could never forgive you. Their blood is on my hands. Yet, I feel nothing. My thoughts are scattered, like I'm in a vortex I can't control. Despite this, I don't care. I've made my choices, and now I must live with the consequences. It's only fair after what I did to Sarah. So, Chris, as the final game has ended, I shall release you. You better. I've gone through hell and dragged my friends into the void. It has been an absolute pleasure. Oh? Not even a goodbye. Fuck you. Fuck everything. I just want to go. Goodbye, Nest. This killer butterfly will carry the weight of this place forever. 
Should I turn myself in? Should I erase myself from the vo from the world? Hell, who knows where this door will lead me. Wherever it takes me, I will walk and bear my cross upon my shoulders until the day I finally die. When hell takes me. Cruel end. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Blood trail to hell. I am so sorry, guys. Like, I was... I had no idea what to do with the game. I accidentally hit something and killed all of them. I was running out of time, too, so I just let it happen. I'm, I'm really, really sorry. I did not want any of them to die. Let me tell you that. So, what I'm gonna do is... I'm going to figure out how to rescue them. Like, you know, off camera and everything. And when I get to a part that, um that I haven't seen, that we have been seen, like, I rescued them all, then, then I'll let you guys know, okay? Because, um, this is kind of shaking me up. <laughs> really. I could say, I'm gonna save them all. I will, trust me. I'm not gonna leave it here, trust me. Because, um, <laughs> I feel really bad for doing that. I had no idea what to do, so, like, you know, I'll be, I'll try my best to rescue everyone, like, off the, to the side. So, uh, I'm so sorry you had to see all that. I feel terrible, and I'm about to cry. Okay. Um, so yeah, in the next video, hopefully I will get the good end, and I will know how to save everybody. And that. <laughs> yeah, some of them were trying to help, s w didn't even help Sarah, but, you know, you it can't be their fault. You got They can't die for this. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna, you know continue get the try and get the good ending in the next video <sighs> so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if you guys would like to see more of my videos then click subscribe anyways i'll see you guys in the next video bye